I'm standing here at the start of stage three in Pismo Beach, and if you're along the coast, you can expect it to be windy. I'm Frankie Andreas. We're rolling with the tour presented by VisitCalifornia.com. Now, Pismo Beach got its name before the Indian Chumat language, which means tar. The Indians used to use tar to patch the canoes and also to trade. It came from the nearby Price Canyon. But Pismo Beach really became famous in the 1950s when it became the clam capital of the world, the world famous Pismo clams. They harvested for 40 years, but the problem is they over harvested. They can't find a legal sized clam since 1993. They might not have any clams yet. What they do have are a lot of beautiful monarch butterflies. To escape the northern winter climate, they come here to Southern California to be able to rest on the eucalyptus trees here in Pismo Beach. Over 28,000 monarch butterflies each winter. And of course, Pismo Beach being on the coast, you have all of your usual water activities. I'm Frankie Andreas, we're rolling with the tour presented by visitcalifornia.com.